in the previous video i discussed uh, cysts or swelling on the eyelids and now in this video i will discuss uh, swelling um, in the periauricular uh, area in periocular area well swellings can be dermoid cysts uh, above the canthal area deep dermoid in the medial canthal area and superficial dermoid in the lateral canthal area but if you get uh, a bump uh, below medial canthus uh, in an old uh, patient uh, complaining of chronic uh, epiphora and uh, mucopural discharge, it is nasolacrimal duct ab obstruction uh, with uh, acquired lacrimal sac and cysted mucosal. Regurgitation will be negative in a true mucosal. In adults, the mucosal results from acquired chronic obstruction of NLD. Now, as the physiological pathway is obstructed, the tears are accumulated in the lacrimal sac, chronic stagnation lead to lacrimal sac uh, distension uh, distension and kinking causes uh, sealing of its exits uh, and uh, as the lacrimal sac epithelium uh, produces uh, secretions uh, mucosal can be too much enlarged gradual distension uh, may lead to face cellulitis uh, and even eruption uh, through skin forming fistula. It can involve the whole face uh, cellulitis in some instances as well. Now in a true mucosal regurgitation will be negative. Treatment is decryocystiorhinostomy. I perform DCR in this patient and now the patient is pain free. There is no watering discharge and patient is cosmetically satisfied. So it was a case of mucosal. 